You know, the sick twisted part of me wonders, if I were to do nothing but run ads on my waiting screen, how far would that push the uh, upcoming auto ad up? I'm curious about that now. Maybe I can do an experiment about that. <laughs> just like a test stream, just like, okay, so if I do nothing but that for 10 minutes, how mu how far are we spared? How, how far are we spared until T-Pain locks us back in the basement to sell us drinks? <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Rise here is here. Rise here is doing the things today. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm a little low energy. I woke up from a nap earlier. I did not get good sleep last night. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited today. Because today uh, we're going to be playing Link's Awakening on the Switch. Which uh, Ludmilla VT got me. Very, very sweet friend. You should all totally check her out. In fact, I'm going to shout her out. I'm going to shout her out for this because she's the reason we have this right now. Ludmilla underscore VT. I hope to God that worked. What do you mean that channel I'm shouting out doesn't exist? I like to look up Milla's fucking name. This is so sad. Can I? Can we get 3,000 followers? Thank you, Twitch, for destroying my eardrums on the homepage, as you always do. Oh, there's no underscore. Derp. I'm fucking stupid. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be an interesting stream today. Because I have, like, I know of Link's Awakening. I know of Link's Awakening, but I've never played it myself. But yeah, she's the reason we got this game today, so y'all go show her some love. Go give her, go give her all the love she deserves. She has her own like little uh, two point. I'm I'm not sure if it's two point actually. She has her own little re debut happening in October as well. Just like just like me, October is the best day for day re debuts. <laughs> Did I say damn it month? I'm very tired right now. Let's go ahead and just get into the game. So let me go ahead. Look at that. We're moved over. <laughs> uh, let me do a quick audio. Let me also turn off my uh music because we'll actually have the game's music audio seems to be okay at least to my eardrums uh where's my capture card in obs there we go <laughs> uh all righty so let's go ahead and boot this baby up yes close the software i was currently using i was playing smash with church last night <laughs> On her stream, I'll be. She's gonna be. She said she's gonna be doing Smash again today, and I'm excited about that. <laughs> I've also entered her little uh, tournament that she's gonna be doing. Her in Sprite Corner Esports, and I'm probably gonna do a stream where I just play Smash online and just train for that because I need to. Because there are some people who know how I play a little too well. <laughs> They're figuring me out, chat. <laughs> They're figuring me out. They're learning I play hyper-aggressively, and all they need to do is shield. <laughs> uh, bro, the animation here is so fucking good, though. I remember being wowed by it, like, during the Direct this was revealed. Speaking of the Direct, you know what I need to play now? Especially now more than ever. Because there's a streamer I watched that started playing it last night, and I had to, like, click off immediately. Uh, Ghost Trick. <laughs> I have not forgotten the fact that I want to play Ghost Trick on stream. Because I've always wanted to play it. And I think it's out on Switch now. So I need to buy it. But money. And money is going to be a little iffy, potentially. Because I have not been scheduled for Monday. I'm not going to be streaming on Monday. I'm going to use that day for homework. <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll do a gorilla stream if I feel like it. But like for now, nothing is going to be scheduled. And... I also am going to ask off on Saturday because I'm going to ask off next Saturday because of the Smash tournament. Ghost Trick, uh, it's it's a it's actually really cool. Hold on, let me go ahead and press L and R. But Ghost Trick is a uh, it's a sort of detective esque game because you're a phantom detective. You're a detective who died, and your ghost can like interact with the physical world in a way to like prevent crimes. And it's, like, really cool, and it's made by the same people who made Ace Attorney, and I, like, I've wanted to play it for the longest time. But getting a hold of a copy on the original DS is really fucking annoying, but they've re-released it for Switch. At least I think it's out now. Oh, let me double check. Let me double check this. Ghost Trick 
switch. Picture of a cat here. Yeah, it's out. It's only 30 bucks, too. Maybe I can get it. It has a demo as well. There's a demo for it. Oh, Halloween Ace Attorney. <laughs> Is everyone playing it for Halloween? Because Bunny was playing it. Uh, not our bunny. Lobotomy bunny. Different bunny. I know too many bunnies. Um, Lobotomy bunny was playing it last night as a spooky DS game. <laughs> uh, and I was like, well, I'm out of here. <laughs> and Grand now is mostly lurking, but yeah. <laughs> I could go straight to Hero and make myself suffer. I played Rain World. I can handle it. Yeah. Uh. No clue. I watch you and then Overwatch streamers. Ah. <laughs> Enter our name. Alright, fellows. We doing rise. We doing rise here. We doing rye bread. We doing rice. Are we feeling like rice today? <laughs> Cringe Ninja, decide my fate. What what variation of rise am I using? If you say Reezer, I will time you out for a whole one second. Gotta do link. Wow. Okay. Keep it usual. I see how it is. But how am I going to live out my self-insert raz <laughs> razor? <laughs> okay, we'll do razor. Razor. There we go. <laughs> uh, at least you didn't say razor. That's my least favorite. I love the art direction in this game. It's so cute. They look like toys. That was kind of why I uh, made the little, like, promotional image the way I did. Because it's like, oh, they're toys, they're tiny, and I'm towering over them like the moon from Majora's Mask. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? What a legend. <laughs> no, my name's Marin. You must be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Hawk. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. And since you've washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Bet it's your fucking fault. Oh, I use the... I don't use the D-pad. Well, that's a little awkward. I don't want... I want to use the D-pad. Check. Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. <laughs> Big Mama? That's an end joke. That will only that only cringe ninja is going to get. Well, Razor, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Tarin. My parents meant to name me Train, but they made a typo on the fucking birth certificate. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Now the real question, who the fuck puts their name on a shield? I would understand putting it on the back of the shield, but you put it on the front. Are you, are you just trying to let your enemies know who the fuck they're getting their asses kicked to? Hey, what are you doing in me, my chest? Where do you learn to do such a thing? I can't help it. Your chest just looks so lovely, sir. It's a him, Mario. <laughs> I should have made making him sound like Mario was the easy route. <laughs> Couldn't. Yeah. Now I'll take the easy route here. Could you just leave here without the shield? Will the game let you do that? I'm gonna push this cuckoo. I lo I looked at these foxes and I thought they were Eevees. Don't tell Glacionic. Hello there, ma'am. <laughs> Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? <laughs> I won't make everyone sound like Mario except for Mario. <laughs> Holy shit, Santa. Er, eh, him. How to say, please go outside. It seems that the old man Orira is a shy guy in person. Check. Ring, ring, click. Yes, it's the Bucket the Mouse. Thanks for calling. Well, click. What the? You must have dialed the wrong number. I didn't dial anything. I just picked up the fucking thing. Oof, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Damn. Eh. 
My voices will find their stride, don't worry. I will only be annoying for a little bit. Why is there a giant phone on your roof? Ring, ring. Hello, it's me, Olreira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Click. Interesting. Look at that egg. Yep, yep. <laughs> hey, man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. You get there by operating the sub screen with plus and then pressing R to get to the system screen. Don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. Listen, it came to me in a vision. Wait, is this called Maybe Village? Oh my god, I love that. Or Mabe. It's probably Mabe. I love Link's voice in this. Okay, they said to take the south path, so I should probably be on the path. Does he actually hurt me? I don't think he does. What's in here? Oh my god, there's so many. What the fuck happened on that side? Yep, yep. The chow chows. Oh, 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 my bow wow is so proud of his flying for a goat. <laughs> and by fur, I mean fucking steel. Or potentially iron. Or some other kind of mal. Uh, or some other kind of alloy. Razor checked out the dresser. Yep, everything checks out. <laughs> Razor checked out the dresser. Yep, everything checks out. Alright, back on the south path. Let's see here. Children. I love how it barely goes above your head. You are barely tall enough. I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. But I don't understand what they mean by that. I mean, wouldn't that destroy the map? Seems like a waste of paper if you ask me. All right, go find a big fairy. What? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I need to use that excuse more often. Clearly, it will get me out of anything. Fun with bombs. Read this book. No, I already know how to use a bomb. Properties of warp points. What's this special one over here? Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Kaholin. Do you really want to read it? Yes. Gasp, well, what's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens, but where would you get one of those? Maybe if you lend some people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Okay, so... <laughs> I was looking up top at the little picture up here, and I swear on my life, it looked like, because of how the clouds were, it looks like the mountain is just fucking flexing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't unsee that. This is the bookshelf. What? You could see that? Okay. <laughs> the bookshelf. What? You could see that? Okay. <laughs> so I guess I need, like, to knock those, uh, books down. But, yeah, that's it. That's cracking me up. That looks like it's flexing. Look at these Animal Crossing apples. Look at this hole. <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> oh. Ow. Damn, they've, they, they're they on it. Sir. Look at me. I look like a target. Oh, I can't reflect. Also, I realized I didn't put my Discord in streaming mode. Let me take care of that. I want the neat little purple dot. There we go. Better. Uh, so I can't reflect the Octorok shit, so I just gotta avoid Hello Gordos. Howdy, Asgarath! Welcome to the stream, good to see you again. Today I'm playing Link's Awakening, which was given to me by the good uh, Ludmilla VT, which you should definitely check out. <laughs> she is a good friend. Why the f Stop it. Go away! Fucking asshole. 
Dude, I move at like less than a snail's pace. Ugh. But how you been, Asgarath? I got flung at Mach 10 in Rain World yesterday by a lizard. It was so funny I made a short about it. <laughs> Looks fun. Never played it though. Neither have I. This is a new experience. Ow. I will find out how the fuck to get down here. Go away. There we go. What? Fucking hell. I mean, what if I pick up these coconuts? I cannot pick up the coconuts. Alright, do I have to... Not figure out where to go. This is troublesome for me. I'm about to die. Like that. <laughs> <sighs> hey man, you actually remembered my advice. What advice? I forgot. <laughs> if I remembered any advice, I did unintentionally. Oh, hey, it, does, it just starts you right back where you died. That's actually nice. Go ahead and make my way up here. Oh, the fucking, like, hills. Uh, The hills, like, you have to climb slower up them. That's actually interesting. You actually put the little die things in the channel points. Die things? What? What did I do? I think. Oh. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I I put my little uh, symbol there because I wanted something there. But yeah, I did do the little eye things because I thought that was, uh, like you said, it was it was just fitting. I couldn't think of like any like fancy thing to do. So I was just like, fuck it, just make it my symbol. There you go. Um. What if I go down there? Didn't expect to have a maze today. What is it with Zelda games and always being like, ah, the player has been playing for five seconds. Let's give them enemies immediately. Oh yeah. Dude, why do I... So confused. You just call a dragon... Them dragon points instead of channel points. That's a... That's like too basic. I don't know. Maybe I'll think of something. I want something a little more on the unique and interesting side. But not like too vague where you'd like have to know like... I don't know, my whole fucking lore in order to understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. So as we can see, all avenues lead to dead ends. Maybe I need to go get a sword from somewhere. I like the little clank of his shield, by the way. You can hear while he's running. Tail Cave, Toronto Shores. Still love that. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, what's this? Here sleeps the flying rooster. Doesn't budge an inch. His fucking voice, dude. Let's see here. Hmm. Wait, my shield can break? Since when? Wait. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. How much is a piece of heart? 200 rupees. Three more hearts. No emotes. Insert Mega Mind Mean here. I haven't got... So... There's a couple emotes I want to make myself. A couple I want to commission. 
There's like a couple emotes that like that like it's just like I need to make it myself, otherwise it's, I'm not gonna be satisfied with it. But like I mostly want to commission people for emotes, because I feel like that'd just be a nice thing to do. Plus I am. I'll be honest with you, Chief. I am arted out for a bit. <laughs> The model took a lot out of me. Like, the only thing I'm doing is I'm going to finish this com I'm working on for a friend. Which I can't do on stream. It's not one I can do on stream for uh, <clears throat> reasons. Um, but... Like, I'm not... I'm gonna be taking, like, a fucking month break from art. It's gonna be a bit. What are those two emotes you want to make yourself? Um, I think I've talked about one on stream before. Um, I know for certain one of them is, uh, it's, go it's gonna be me in, uh, at the bare minimum, this form. And I wanna have, like, and I wanna be looking, like, smug and, like, cocky and shit. Like, off to the side, like, looking like this, with, uh, a rose in both my mouths, and I just wanna call it Riz. <laughs> That's, like, one I want to do myself. I want the vibe, I want the expression to be exactly how I want them. <laughs> uh, I just think it would be funny. Criminal offensive side eye. Exactly. Hmm? Well, it seems that after you save, it will start the last place you saved, unless it's a dungeon where you start the entrance. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Gotcha. So I save the dungeon. <laughs> It won't save my place. Aww. With four boys who all look alike, I, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. <laughs> I saw one at the trendy game, but I couldn't get it. <laughs> Thank you for the civil feral toggle ass graph. I will keep it on as long as it doesn't get unredeemed. <laughs> yep, those are my boys. I'm Paul. Pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep it look out. <laughs> Man knows he's gonna get lost. Like, it's not a question. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm gonna need your help later. Person I have met for five minutes. Just letting you know. Bro, I need, like, at the bare minimum, a sword. Because I can't, like, deal with this shit. If I can't, like, cut it. Right? Not crazy. Is there anything up here? Did I look up here? It's a fisherman. How about some fishing, little buddy? I only charge you ten rippers. Fucking broke. You have to have more passion. <laughs> it's not passion I lack, it's finances. No record site yet. Give it a try. Every good game has a fishing minigame. It's one of the facts of life. Serious Warbless, Moblins ahead, they're not friendly. Okay, let me go back into, like, Marin's house. Because clearly I am missing something. Let me talk to her again. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters, be careful, okay? Oh yeah, some other stuff washed up on the beach. Even you go, look, watch out for monsters. Ever since you showed up, Razor, I've seen them all over the place. You know, I went down to the beach. It's all blocked by fucking Gordos. Am I stupid? Did I miss something? What is it? What's in here? I didn't notice there was a door here. I just thought it was a design on the house. It totally looks fine. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Why can this one talk? I also forgot to say this last time. I'm hosting, like, Halloween party at my house. Everybody has to have a costume or else they ain't allowed. I'm not trying to invite you. I just thought it was something cool to share. Well, I hope it goes well. <laughs> Asgrath. Not like I could show up and not like I would. <laughs> I guess. Dox myself instantly. And buy a plane ticket to somewhere. For someone I have only met online. I've only talked to in my Twitch chat. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Okay, seriously, what am I supposed to do? This is the only part of the beach I can access. Are you fucking serious? Well, you know, that's what I get for applying Kirby logic to a Zelda game. So you know what? 
Uh, I'll, I'll take that L. <laughs> hoot, hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so wildly. A courageous lad has come to wake up the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should go north to the mysterious forest. That's where the windfish is. I will wait for you there. At the windfish. That I mentioned earlier. Hoot. <laughs> uh, what's your gonna be your Halloween costume, Asgaraf? I haven't dressed up for Halloween in a hot minute. Windfish, the windfish, the fish of the winds, that windfish. <laughs> fish wind? <laughs> You'd swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. But yeah, I haven't dressed up for Halloween in a long ass time. Just because. Uh. Because the simple reason is, uh. Fuck, I keep losing my train of thought. I'm having... I'm too busy swinging my sword. When I got older, Halloween just kind of lost a lot of its, like, pizzazz for me. Because, like, when you... Like, I loved going out, dressing up, like, at trick-or-treating, showing off my costume to, like, everybody I... Like, everybody's house I went to. It was fun. I liked it. But when you get older, you can't trick or treat anymore. There's all kind of there's all kinds of laws about like what you can fucking wear in public. Like you can't wear a mask, so fuck having a mask. Like a bunch of other stupid fucking bullshit. And like couple that with the fact like I'm not like that big on the spooky aesthetic. Like it, simply put, it's not like it's special anymore. I know that sounds crazy, but like. Think about it, dude. Horror is like a super celebrated genre and like movie and film. Goth is like its own fucking aesthetic and like that's Halloween adjacent at at the very least. Ugh. It's just like like all like the stuff that like gets associated with Halloween, it's like it's like a year round thing. Like there's never like a time of like it's kind of just spread itself out throughout the year. Like monsters and all that shit, like they're they're all over the place. We don't see that for, like, something like Christmas or fucking Thanksgiving. So it's just, like, it's not as, like, special anymore. Because, like, all the things that, like, were still special about Halloween, I can't do anymore. <laughs> At least to the extent that I want to. You know? The online thing is one of the problems, but there's also the fact I'm Italian and you probably live in USA. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm Italian, but that's about where it is. Fair, but also, it's a party I'm hosting, and yeah, it's in public, but it's also just a ha in a house. Still, I hope it goes well. Eh. <laughs> a windy fish, the kind of windy fish that's windy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not, sir? I'm just minding my business. I'll kill you. You fucking monkey. I will be like Frieza. Don't think just because I... Don't think just because we're not on Namek, I won't blow this place to smithereens. Fucking hell. I know that it disappears. Like, at the end, pretty much. This is all just a dream Link is having. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. I'm not for Sale. That would be slavery. Self-imposed slavery. Wait, isn't that being an indentured servant, actually? Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Let's not talk about my sister. That's a different type of selling. <laughs> Unk just wants to throw some giant nuts at you. I'll throw mine. I'm glad that they're one shot. <laughs> That's very easy. Yeah, like, fucking... Moving a Gordo is a foreign concept to me, dude. I don't care if they're not called Gordos. They're fucking Gordos. Cut the grass. And cut your ass. Another one. Peekaboo. <laughs> Teleports behind you. <laughs> Nothing personal, Octorok. 
You know, I was complaining about not being able to use the D-pad, but this is actually pretty fluid. Even if it, even if Link looks a little janky when I'm spinning. Oh yeah, that's a normal part of gameplay though. Cut this, cut this. There's some hearts. This is a little in pain. Time to on save just in case something bad happens. Alright, kids, sign to build character. Damn it. <laughs> no character building. I know better. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I know I it's, I can't let the intrusive thoughts win. Not on that one. <laughs> Need to get some rupees for the fishing minigame. Going to destroy their entire harvest. Found a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? It's a secret. It's meant to look janky. I mean, everything else here is pretty smooth, though. Can I collect uh, rupees with my sword? I can. It's very nice. Baron, why are you doing out of the house? Uh. Wait a minute. I mean, if Link's Awakening is just supposed to be a dream Link is having, why the fuck is Marin in Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, it looks smooth because you aren't turning so much. I mean, yeah. But it's, but it's not smooth outside of that. Alright, let's see what this man says. Trendy game, one play. Ten rubies. I will play. Let's move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play, good luck. Oh, I guess. Move forward, move right. Uh, it's like this. That one carnival game. <laughs> I need to get them the Yoshi doll, or their kids are literally going to die. Bro, it's like slower than a normal crane game. Challenge again, yeah, sure. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Maybe it'll be generous? Less rigged than a normal crane game. No. Just give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you to play. But like my stuff. Thank you. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. For a sec, I thought Yoshi was going to end it all. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Poor kids. What do you expect me to know? I don't have a concept of timing. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Can I cut the foxes? Yes, <laughs> and they are not happy when I do it. <laughs> so chat, remember when I said I'm vegan? That goes out the window when I'm playing a video game. Bro, this kid is just NPC brain dead. I mean a bit. Yeah, Icecraft, once you said you were Italian, then I, like, really remembered who you were. Ugh. It wasn't even one of those timing prizes. <laughs> okay, so, actually, story. Story time. Um, when I was playing Majora's Mask for the first time, um, I got to that one piece of heart where you, like, have to succeed, like, the Postman's little minigame. And I didn't, ha I didn't have the bunny hood on when I did it. They asked me to count to like 10 seconds. 
Throughout my life, I kind of, like, learned the timing of a second. Mostly because I had... It's even funnier why I learned it. Um, I had, like, a tooth tune toothbrush. Which is, like, a little toothbrush that, like, played music while you bl brushed your teeth. And it, like, only was, like, through your head. It was, like, really cool, actually. And it would go for ten minutes. However, I was a kid, and I hated... Uh having to brush my teeth for the whole two minutes, even with the music. So I kind of learned the timing of a second, so I would only have to brush for, like, one. <laughs> and I did that little mini game in Majora's Mask, and on my first try, I got the perfect ten seconds you were supposed to stop the invisible timer on. And apparently everyone has a lot of fucking trouble with that, so I'm very proud of myself for that one. Aww. Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yeah, the throne, baby. Aww. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. I will give you this in return. You traded your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade a ribbon for something else. Oh, it's one of these quests. Bro, we're fucking doing the, uh... We're doing the fucking, uh... What was that called? The guy who, like, traded, like, a bunch of shit. Till he got, like, a penthouse. Or some shit. Hold on. Guy. Traded a bunch of stuff. Like, he started with, like, something very mundane. Ah, uh, yeah, the guy who traded a paperclip and ended up with a house. So, paper, clip, trade. One red paper clip. That's what it was called. Kyle McDonald, who traded his way from a single red paper clip to a house in a series of 14 online trades over the course of a year. He, start in, he went to Vancouver and traded a paper clip for a fish-shaped pen. He traded the pen the same day for a hand-sculpted doorknob from Seattle, Washington. He traveled to Amherst, Massachusetts with a friend who traded the doorknob for a Coleman camp stove with fuel. He went to California and traded the camp stove for a Honda generator. He traveled to Mass Beth, Queens and traded the generator for an instant party, an empty keg, an IOU for filling the keg with a beer of the bear's choice, and a neon Budweiser sign. This was his second attempt to make the trade his first result in the generator, being temporarily confiscated by the New York City Fire Department. <laughs> Uh, on December 8, 2005, he traded the instant party to Quebec comedian and radio personality Michelle Barrett for a ski doo snowmobile. Within a week of that, he traded the snowmobile for a two person trip to Yak, British Columbia, scheduled for February 2006. On or about January 7, 2006, he traded the second spot on the Yak trip for a box truck. On or about February 22nd, 2006, he traded the box truck for a recording contract with Metalworks in... I'm not pronouncing that. April 11th, he traded the contract to Jody Nat for a year's rent in Phoenix, Arizona. And then he traded the year's rent in Phoenix for one afternoon with Alice Cooper. And then he traded the afternoon with Cooper for a Kiss motorized snow globe. And he traded the snow globe to Corbin Burnson for a role in the film Donna on Demand. And then on and then after that he traded the movie role for a two-story farmhouse in Kipling, Saskatchewan. That story is just really, really cool to me. Mm. Though he did apparently he did say like part he did tell like everyone the sort of like challenge he was doing. So it wasn't like he just went up to people and was like, hey, uh, you want to trade me a house for a role in the movie? He was like, hey, I'm doing a thing. I've started out a red paper clip. Can you help me get to a house? <laughs> uh, I've seen that one of those musical toothbrushes. Yeah, they were so fucking cool. I had the Kiss one. I had the one that said uh, that uh, played I Want to Rock All Night. <laughs> but yeah, that, that story is really fucking cool to me. I cannot break that. Got it. What would I put here? Is this a stand for something? It says Pokey. Yeah, keep an eye out for Mr. I'm gonna get lost in the woods later. 
Also, I've been noticing that people really tend to prefer a uh, feral form over civil. Which is funny to me. Personally, I like... I mean, maybe I'm biased towards it because... In truth, I didn't really change up my feral form that much. I added the main. I had the digigrade legs. But, um... Going from the suit to the robe was a massive, like, sort of uptick, so... I'm kind of more enamored with that. But hey, the people have spoken. The people being Asgarath. And occasionally Ellie. Usually for the purposes of trolling me. Uh, how much money do I have? Feral form looks more like a dragon. I mean, that's kind of the point. <laughs> that's kind of the point of feral form. <laughs> so always me faking being human. It's just gonna keep getting further and further inside me. Nah, that's a zone. Mm. Alright, let's let's do some fishing. Hmm. How about some fishing, old buddy? Only charge ten rupees. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A and release the casting line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving the L. You wanna reel in quick in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. Oh yeah, you're right. That's the point of feral form English words. <laughs> I'll try and get the biggie. Let's go. <laughs> you reeled in a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish you'd caught something lighter. That's a lunker. That's worth 26 rupees. For landing a lunker, I'll set you up with a new lure. Middleweight lure. This the fish a little deeper down will love this one. Let's mark the occasion with a piece of heart. Oh no, he found the fishing mini game. <laughs> Alright guys, this is going to be the rest of the stream. Just fishing. I hope y'all are okay with this. Wow, that fish is as big as Link. It's a lunker. It's a linker, even. <laughs> Wanna keep going? Angel lures. What kind of lure are you going with? Middleweight. Alright. Catch the lunker. Gotta catch that linker. Give us a minute. <laughs> Not giving up. Yeah. I'm not giving up. They just respawn? I don't know. Asshole. Not now. There's no more lunkers. It's not even worth it. Alright, let's go back to that minigame, because I want to get that other piece of heart. They probably respawn if you do the, if you start the mini game over. What happens when all the fish get caught. Ah, uh, that that probably forces you out. I missed that message. I'm such a good streamer, everybody. Huh. All right, hello there, sir. Hello, Doofenshmirtz's cousin. I see that nose. <laughs> Look at the fucking little Chow Chow. Oh my god, I want, I want, I want her. I 
I think we got it. Yeah! Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to get banned as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> Bots wherever I go, is this a curse? It might be. That's the first time in a... I mean, I haven't streamed for two months, but that's the first time in a while I've seen a bot. <laughs> but we bought the bot. So we're good now. <laughs> like, it's always the same fucking text, too. So it's like all the same fucking, like, dumbass company. Oh, yeah, do y'all... <clears throat> there was this one email I was getting from, like, this one company. I completely forgot what they were called. But they were, like, some company that was like, Oh, we've developed, like, AI to, like, find the best parts of your streams. And, and, like, stuff like that. And, like, I just ignored them. But they, like, kept contacting me, like, over and over and over again. Like, they were persistent. They are persistent. And I'm just, like, sitting here, like, why would I need something? I don't need AI to, like, capture the best moments of my streams. Why? Because I, I it's called downloading the fucking VOD. Or, or clipping the moment. Or doing anything like that. I would just edit the video myself. It's dumb. But they were persistent, dude. And they were, like, trying to guilt trip you as well. Like, they were trying to guilt trip me as well. It was like, hold on. I won't pull up an email. But, like, it, like they were trying to guilt trip me as well. And it was like, hey there, Rise here. We know you're really busy with all your streaming. And we know you've ignored, like, all of our other things. But we really, really want to help you. And I'm just like, go away. I think I blocked them at one point. I think I, I think at that point I was like, please, please fuck off. Please fuck off. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want what you're selling. I say this is someone who ugh, had to be a salesman for a little bit. It's fair to block them. It was fair to block them. Seriously, why are there multiple she- Wait, like likes. There are like likes in this game. I remember now. Oh, bro, that's rigged. That's actually rigged. Oh my god, I'm mad. Oh. Stay in the fucking claw. Stay in the claw. Stay in the fucking claw. The SpongeBob taught you nothing. Be the crane. <laughs> well, I was there. <laughs> uh. Uh, I got one of those fucking instances where, like, your nose burns. Yeah, chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. A ah, piece of heart. What a rare find just sitting here in this fucking gallery. I would have blocked the company first message. Like, could, you could, I mean, usually I just ignore them. And that's usually enough. I kind of like wasting their time, though. It's funny. But it's like, I want my business email to be for important shit. But anyways, that figure told me exactly where I needed to take that accessory. Makeup tools just as I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Yes. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. Didn't we need dog food? I feel like somebody mentioned dog food. Somebody mentioned dog food. I've completely forgotten. Who the fuck mentioned dog food? Hey man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. I, I, I you, you told me this already. 
Ah, oh, who wanted dog food? Oh, I remember. I remember now. Hold up. We're going back to the beach. Red paper clip, everybody. Also, if that company was going to message you over and over, they, damn, they really were desperate, apparently. Uh, I mean, bro, like, at least look at the streamer. Alright, I'm pretty sure this was the guy who wanted dog food. What's that you have? It's canned food? For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. I think he wanted the can more than the food. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Hmm. Bananas. He does not want bananas. Did we find anyone that mentioned bananas? I don't remember. Too busy doing my red paperclip bullshit till I actually go save the world. <laughs> what is the hero of time doing? He's trying to get a house in some town name I can't remember off the top of my head. He got his generator confiscated earlier. <laughs> it was kind of funny. The well. Let's see, did you need bananas? I don't feel like he mentioned bananas. Have you seen Barney's new... In the new Barney cartoon, the one where they're making him 3D? I feel like I remember seeing it. But I was never much of a Barney guy to begin with, so... Kind of weird in that regard. The real question, should I grind for a piece of heart in the shop? The answer is probably no. However, I have an urge to cut all of this grass every time I come out here. It's good to know Hyrule will never have a deforestation problem. Or anywhere in the Zelda universe. Did you want bananas? Oh no. That, that was the kid. The save kid. Let's just go talk to Marin. He's been standing here patiently. Hi, Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather stay. <laughs> I think I'm just going to maintain that joke of everyone is Mario except Mario. <laughs> Listen to this. It's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I have to uh, go to the forest. But now the question is, how do I get over there when the way is? Oh wait, no, moblins. Yeah, I just remembered. It just looks like a cereal mascot now. It's sad. Can't he at least be a cool cereal mascot like Boo Berry? Boo Berry is the best one, by the way. Anyone who says is a uh, fed or something, I don't know. Ootoot! Oh, oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the w dreamer, the windfish, welcome to the mysterious forest. The wi where the windfish can be seen. Such a mystery you will find on this uncharted Korohint island that has the windfish. I'm afraid you might find it a trifle difficult to leave on the island while the windfish naps. Is Windfish Way. 
By the way, have you ever visited the Hill Cave, which is south of the village? On the island that has the windfish? <laughs> Go there. But the key you find in this forest, it will get you to the windfish. The windfish is watching. Something's up with like my the uh my control stick. Damn, you don't have any iframes, what a loser. <laughs> Imagine not having iframes. Holy shit, it's Tom Nook. Never mind, that's a raccoon. <laughs> As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. I do not intend in cereals. I am Italian. There are some cereal companies, but no Captain Crunch, Fruit Loop stuff like that. Yeah. American cereal is very much American. You're going to be lost thanks to me. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, hi. You've still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. Yo, is she kind of cute, though? I dig the antennas. Very unbiased. I would. <laughs> I love how that's how he hits you with his sword. <laughs> like, he's just kind of, like, jabbing it over and over. <laughs> Where floors with cracks, don't get too comfortable on them. I guess just... I gotta kill all of these Kanas. They're in my way. Kana, quit ruining... Quit ruining my game. I never do breakfast in the morning. For some reason. I don't really eat breakfast too much these days. I mostly just... Kind of snack a little bit throughout the day. Later, I might get, I might make myself some toast, some midday toast. No iframe, loser. Loser. Get the slimes. What the hell is this? Piece of power. You can feel the energy thrown, blowing through you. I guess I my attack is boosted for a little bit. Alright, so I'm back over here. I guess I just keep tracking down... The, oh, Jesus Christ, I fucking yeet him. Guardian Acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. You're going to be lost thanks to me. Does he just keep putting me in front of the fairy fountain? Yeah, I see what's going on. I am picking up what is being put down. I know what I am saying. Yeah, there's something up with my control stick. It, like, gets stuck. And, like, Link just goes, like, slower. Weird. Not enjoying it. Bro, these guys respawn really fast. Eat snacks throughout the day too. I should eat more though. I have a very fast metabolism and I sugar crush every time. My metabolism is fast too. I cannot fucking gain weight. Like ever. I still love how he <laughs> I love how this guy attacks.
hits. There's that. I'm finding my way. Ow. Thank you, Asgrath, for put it, putting my uh, hair back on me. <laughs> Can't say clothes, otherwise... Who's always electrified, got it. <laughs> Can't say clothes or else Twitch will maybe get mad. What's in here? Hello there, ma'am. Double down, double, double, Toriel in trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. I want to talk to the rat. Rat, my love, my beloved, I will do everything for you. Crazy, I was crazy once. They put me in a room, a rubber room, a room filled with rats. Damn, I just realized that you have a little neck, tie, neck thingy with a tie. That's a very cool detail. Yeah, I wanted to keep the little, I wanted to keep that in the new design. Even as physics. Lay a waggle. Lay a waggle. <laughs> Maybe it adds a little too much physics sometimes, but don't worry about it. Uh, so I need to find toadstools. Alright, I still can't reflect him. So if I make a toadstool mix... I can distract the raccoon, and I can get through. Bit much chickle physics. I, I have to make up for the fact I don't have booba. I have to compensate. Alright, let's try this way. Oh no, that, yeah. I do like how snappy the combat is. Can't find any toadstools. Because Marin said that Terran was here looking for toadstools. So that means they're here. Stuff over this way. God damn it. So much shit respawns. I'm very lost. I don't know what they want me to do. Also, why is the channel name Riseier 2? Because of the new model. Um, long story short, I, I like the number 2. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's literally it. I just like the number 2. And I always put a 2 at the end of my name just as like a failsafe to make sure I can use the name I want. Now, true in truth, Riseier is not a commonly used name. However, 2 is just kind of iconic with me. Just in general. Because before... Because before, um, before I was Rise, I was known as Pikachu Fan 2222, which admittedly is a stupid fucking name. However, um, two was just kind of like known with me, you know, so. Crazy Trancy Marbo's Pond. And a whole lot. <laughs> the Malacca Toadstools that are supposedly supposed to be in the forest. But unfortunately, I am not permitted. God damn it. I'm actually about to die. <laughs> Fuck. Eh. Uh. Pikachu man. It was Pikachu fan, not man. <laughs> I love it. Bro! Okay, there we go. I heard man. Nah, it was fan. With an F. 
Can we get some Fs in the chat for the mispronunciation? Okay, so I guess I'm not supposed to be in the forest, because I can't find these fucking toadstools. Serious forest. I mean, I know that the owl told me something, maybe, kind of, and I just kind of ignored him. Hi, right, Taryn went to the forest looking for toadstools. Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is Taryn? East. Cuckoo Prairie. You can see how Pikachu fan translated what you are today. Very yellow looking. Ah, I just like gold dragons. I just think gold dragons are cool. Well, I mean, there is a yellow, yellow and brown, so maybe it was a subconscious thing. I mean, let me look at my map. My options are limited. The library. Ronbo Shores. It says to go to the forest, and it's the only place I can go to, so I guess I'll go back. I must be missing something. There we go. King Ghidorah. I, I'm not actually much of a Godzilla guy. Though the parallels between me and Ghidorah being a uh, Space Dragons is definitely prevalent. But where the fuck are these toadstools? I mean... Can't go up that way. It's also yellow. Yeah, I know. He's also yellow. He's yellow and a space dragon. I'm just the cooler one. <laughs> Get rid of all of this grass. <laughs> they always tell me to touch grass. No, I, I opt to destroy it all instead. But it keeps coming back. Honest to God, dude, where are these fucking... Where are these toadstools? Tell me they're in the forest. And I look through the forest. But all I find is disappointment. And my 50th patch of grass. That's right, I'm just gonna be fucking rich in rupees from all the grass I'm cutting. All the moblins I'm killing. Never touch grass to Canucum. <laughs> well, there's an acorn. Do, 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 do. I mean, did I go over here? Yeah, that's the fairy. holes, but I know I'm going to need, like, the rock feather for that. Fellas, there's a limited amount of areas that I am able to go into. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, so cannot do that way. What are you searching right now? I'm looking for toadstools. They say they're in the forest. 
So yeah, maybe the library will say something. Maybe I can go to the shop. Maybe I should go to the shop, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, I can replay speeches. Hold up. That's actually very convenient. Hold up. Tail Cave, which is south of the village. Go there with the key. Oh, I need to find a key first, though. Toadstools like Mario ones. Just more like... Just more like, um... Just more like mushrooms, pretty much. But okay. Very useful. Let's go to the shop. Maybe we can buy bombs or something. I have to go now. See ya. Alrighty. Take care of yourself, Asgrath. It was good to have you here. There you go. But okay. Maybe I can buy something at the shop that'll help me. Because I'm out of options right now. Because everything leads to nowhere. But everything leads me to money. Which I have a lot of right now. Wait, that's the crane game. Alright, here we are. There's a shovel. And hearts, another shield. I guess the only, I guess, dig for the, sh get, grind for the shovel? I guess that's what I'm doing now. Budge an inch. Flying it should at some point. <laughs> Going to the library, see what we can learn. Selecting the item that's right for you. Sub screen you can get to with plus is very useful. You can select your favorite items for the X and Y buttons. Try many different things. Map and memories. You know, I don't think we're going to find much here. Unless I can find somebody that wants bananas. But I've kind of talked to everybody. Is there anybody who wants bananas? Anybody wanting bananas? Maybe we go talk to that guy's wife. I thought he was going to get lost in the forest later, right? I don't know how he knew that. But... Is <laughs> a thing. Also, these apples are changing colors. It's unnatural. Ugh. Oh, hold up. Let's talk to her. Oh, ho, ho. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Yeah, no, I just made fun of that earlier. Oh, fuck. You know what? I haven't been... Oh. I wasn't keeping an eye on the ad timer. Fuck. Shit. I completely conked out there. My bad. I'll keep a better eye out for things. I'm sorry about that. 
They just kind of hit me like, wait, how long have I been, sh I been streaming? <laughs> and I looked at my timer, and it was like an hour, 24 minutes. I'm like, fuck. Nothing was probably missed. We're fine. Everything's fine. Probably. <laughs> Alright, well, you're still like this. Yep, those are my boys. No, he said he was going to be lost in the hills. Fuck. I mean, you can't think of anyone else I haven't talked to in this town. Mm. I mean, I guess I'll talk to the old lady again. No. Let me, do, let me try calling... The man, the myth. I have some good information that did not help. Running out of ideas, and I'm running out of ideas. Oh, wait, we can look in his dresser now. Damn it. Is this a stand for something? It says Goomba. Mm -mm. And I didn't check the in. Oh, no. No house. Just a man. Yes, I'll continue just grinding for the shovel. There's not much else I can do. This is the only thing I haven't done yet that seems to give some modicum of progress. I don't have to grind that much longer. I'm no stranger to having to figure things out on my own, but I am slowly running out of things I can do and think of. Ninety-four, ninety-five, two hundred. All right. Give me your finest shovel, sir. Good luck, shovel. 200 rubies. Seems expensive. Thanks a lot, and come again. Uh, you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set to X or Y on the subscreen. Alright, now what? What happens if I dig? Guys, what do I do? <laughs> Help. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What if I dig up toadstools? What if? That's the key. Maybe on to something. I mean, what else is there? What else have I not done? There wasn't anything in here I missed, was there? Did I focus entirely on, like, the... Oh my god, guys, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a blind fool. I'm as blind as these bats. Holy shit, I'm dumb. Holy shit, I'm dumb. I had a one-tracked fucking mind. <laughs> Alright, uh... Options.
I'll be back. Not leaving without that piece of heart. Yeah, new Helltaker looks weird. My main issue is just... So I would need to lift it. He's a little slow, but he got spirit. Have you figured it out? Because, like, I'm looking at it, and I can't find, like, a way to make a pass to the piece of heart. Like, I can't push any of these. I can push these, but, like, I need to, like, make a path, like, up here. Team Aqua Base has trained me. <laughs> <laughs> so none of these can be pushed first thing we need to do is eliminate what we can't do and we can't do any of these I could push that up there but then I don't get to push any of those I can push that in there but then I list all I do is like limit myself I can't pull them Like, we gotta get into the upper right, and I'm just trying to think of, like, what's a stone configuration that will allow that? But the thing is, like, it's... Neither of them? We have to push those stones out of the way. And the only way to do that is to be above them. We're off to the side of that one, on the right. But you have to push that stone upwards. Which will trap it. I think you're fucking with me, Sean. I don't think there's a fucking solution here. <laughs> If there was, tell me. But I can't see it. Also, I see the toadstool, finally. Fucking hell. I can't believe I just missed a blatantly obvious path. There is just gotta lift the skulls when you get- Well, yeah, I see that. I see the lifting the skulls part. <laughs> but you made it sound like... Ugh. I could do it right now. Wait, I can't... That's dumb. Yeah, you made it sound like I could do it, like, right now. I got confuzzled. Alright, so... Boom. 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 Guess that's why I couldn't push it in there. Link is fucking dead. Do I have... No. Please tell me it respawns. Okay, thank the lord. Kana, stop ruining my gameplay. Speaking of which, hold up. Let me look at something.
You got the message. That's all that matters right now. Don't mind me. Just having to look into friend stuff. As long as I know she's seen and I know things are being done. Also, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Maybe try going in the skull room backwards. I mean, even then, that we still can't, like, uh... We still can't, like, get above those two pieces in order to let those two stones in the upper right in order to, like make them I'm losing my train of thought we can't get to those two stones in the upper right to like make them go away to push them out of the way so we can get to the piece of heart you can't do that without lifting those skulls so I'll just need to come back later ah it has the sleepy toadstool it does we'll mix it up something in a jiffy for free I don't need money. I make all my food. It's not much there. Why not try it a bit in my try a bit in my hut? That's a magic power set to the screen at plus or in set to X and Y. Mysterious powder has magical effects. Ooh! Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. So they don't make you have to get a toadstool again. That's nice. Oh, it saves your power up, so that's actually nice. Die. <laughs> get fucking yeeted. Get yeeted like I was yeeted yesterday during Rain World. <laughs> I'm very proud of the short I made out of that. It was very quick and it was very easy to make. Unfortunately, I don't... I think YouTube suppressed it because it was struggling to upload a short. Because I wanted it to be a short. And I guess because I attempted uploading it like so many times, YouTube is like, Oh, why are you trying to upload so much shit? We're not going to show anyone your videos. And it's gotten like some of the worst like performance I've ever seen out of like uh, any of my Rain World like shorts or videos in general. Which is upsetting. But it's fine. Bye. I said bye. Oh. It's not Mario. Last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon. It sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I have to fuck with this one like little elf boy. He kind of looked like you, actually. <laughs> and there's the tail key. I can enter tail cave gate. Go away. <laughs> Ooh, take the key and go to tail cave. So you can get to the windfish. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. It'll help you see the windfish. The windfish is waiting, windfish. <laughs> you know, technically, you could make Morse code out of the words wind and fish. Oh god, the like likes. I have to be careful. Um, You know, like likes, everyone's favorite enemy. Let's put it, uh, like a bunch of them in the same area. This man will not shut up about the library. The library. So if I cut the sign... Oh, I can't cut the sign. This is so sad. Fuck you. Fuck you. No iframe. Have an ass. Alright. Off to Tail Cave. The first dungeon of the game. Probably. I assume it's the first dungeon of the game. Your arm sucks, by the way, dude. You 
you know, I could. What is down here? Hey, piece of art. There we go. Now, if only I could get that one in the skull cave, then I would be happy. <laughs> I love that the stairs just make you jump out of the well. I haven't saved in a bit. Let's take care of that. There we go. Downsy daisy. Downsy dopey. Still mad about the fucking Gordo shit. Doesn't feel that. I mean, I guess you need it for puzzles later. They'll probably use them as puzzles later, but like, God, ah, that's annoying. Annoying I was walled out by that. <laughs> I saw the tail. Ow. I saw that fucking tail gate earlier. Just can't remember where. Oh, it's that way. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. There we go. <sighs> I'm having fun. Not sure how long I'll play the game, though. Three hours max. We are approaching two. I do. I would at least. Yeah. I would at least like to beat the first dungeon. I think that'll probably be the cutoff point. Dungeon per stream sounds good. Key time. Ba boom. It's annoying to me that only one set of bars dropped. Oh, some of my roomies walk around the house a lot. <laughs> Hearing so much stomping. Alrighty. We got the eyesores over there. The beetles. I see what I have to do. There we go. <laughs> I am attempting to make counterspell tribal. Good lord, I am glad I am not over there right now. <laughs> I am glad I am not having to bear witness to that. of power. Ow. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Compass says a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Oh, that's cool. I guess this room was supposed to be a tutorial for that. Whoops. Might be. Look at this little guy go. I love him. He's dead now, though. There we are. Another small key. I haven't used a single one of them yet. Kana! Stop trying to ruin my stream. I'm the only person who's allowed to bully. Oh, God. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> you know, I was a fool for thinking that would work. I was a fool for thinking that would go any other way other than pain. There we go. Surprised they don't do damage to you. Where are you? The beakless statue saying something. You can't make it out. Well, this room is useless. Don't hit me. There we go. Ow. 
Ow. That was just me being lazy at that point. Another small key. At least that guy only goes down two hits. Is the first boss gonna be fucking Mulduga? I hated these skeletons in Link to the Past. I'm not happy they are here right now. Well, I guess that door is blocked. I like that auto saves after every, uh. That. Ow. Well, what was up at the top? What the hell? Oh. Oh. There we go. Boom. I think I got that correct on accident. I think you were supposed to look at the floor color and that determines which one you're supposed to do. Because Link's Awakening was made for the Game Boy Color, so... Makes sense. Turn aside the spined one, spined ones with a shield. I want that heart? Jesus Christ! Dude. dude, I swear I've heard the shower be on like three times today. It must be cleaning. That makes sense. 20 rupees joy interesting it collides with the uh it collides with the that it collides with Kana There's a door that you can't open move a square block. That's dumb. Loser. Whew. There's. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. So nice he had to say it twice. Oh. <laughs> this section. I love these 2D sections in this game. It's one of the things that's really charming about Link's Awakening. I'm really just not thinking with those. Rock's Feather. can still not jump over that. But I can grab that. And be better. <laughs> but yeah, Link has jumps now. Link has mad ups. I've been very excited for the Rock's Feather. I think it's such a cool item. Your attacks mean nothing to me now. I have verticality. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do? So much opens up. And you can have this jump now. And unlock that. It just vanishes. Did I just get a did I just use a small key to get another small key? Oh no, I got the boss key. Okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> We take those. Bro, why can I not jump down there? That's actually fucking cringe. Dungeons in this game are short. Let's see here. Anywhere I haven't looked yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to go that way. The 
this to push blocks. If there's doors I can't open, but... Which ones do I push? Not those ones. So I will go ahead and I will continue on my merry linky way. That man was walking on air. There we go. Hello there. Can I help you, sir? You're kind of bad. <laughs> this isn't normal. I'm not used to things that can jump. <laughs> I really shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have set up house in the f dungeon. That'll make people be able to have me jump. I mean, that in the dungeon that gives people the item that lets them jump. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have lived here. That wasn't cheap at all. What's down here? Let's go down here first. Oh, hey, look, I think those are my relatives. Uh, that's neat. I guess that's just to heal you up. Makes sense. I made very good use of it. <laughs> I made very good use of the heal I was just given. There he is. Everybody's, everybody's favorite boss, Moldorm. That's what is his name, Moldorm. Alright, so I can't attack that until it opens back up. I like that as the music from uh, Link to the Past. I like that I died. This is the Moldorm of all time. It's not gonna start me at the beginning of the dungeon, will it? Okay, no, it's nice. Is there a way to use this? Oh, I was just standing in it wrong. Okay. <laughs> I was just standing in it incorrectly. Understood. Ow. Go down here and get the heals. Yeah, this is a very short dungeon. I don't like it though. So smart. All right, round two. And you know what they say about two and me? It's iconic. They call me Second Try Rise here. That it? All right, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I died on the final hit I had to do. I will take the increased health, thank you. I have died three times, I think. There we are. Instrument. I got a violin. Never mind, that's a cello. This is why I don't take music class. <laughs> Look, it wasn't, I mean, I guess it is big enough. I guess it's technically big enough for it to be a cello in Link's size, but, like, everything's Link's size. Everything is his size. <laughs> Swamp. That is what I use in Magic. <laughs> I, am a, I am a black player in Magic. 
path opens in the blooms. I like that swamp was an uppercase. So I can just, like, imagine that, uh, I'm just imagining they yelled swamp and then just said everything else normally. <laughs> wow, it has a death counter. Thanks, game. That makes me that makes me feel very nice and fuzzy inside. Oh, <sighs> okay. Uh. So, I think with that dungeon completed, I think that's just a good place to just end stream off for the day. We've had a good week. We've had a good week. Good run. Uh, being back on streaming, I've been very happy. Lots of good people have shown up, made for a good time. But I believe it is time for us to move on. So I'm going to send y'all over to Dream Trove. Because she is debuting a very cool new Metro. I mean, she... She debuted it yesterday. Technically, it's <laughs> technically it's been debuted for quite a bit, actually. But it looks very cool. Her uh, Metroid model, and she's playing Metroid right now. She's doing a bit of a Metroid Kirby month sort of thing. She was doing Kirby before, but now she's doing Metroid. But yeah, hope y'all go give her a good time. Could not have been able to have made a model without her tutorials. So at the very minimum, be grateful that she's why I have this right now. <laughs> and uh, what else? There's more things I need to talk about. I forgot. But next week, we're, we'll be doing some more of the same. Not sure what I'm going to sub out Sonic Frontiers with. I'll think of something. But we're definitely going to do more Rain World and more Link's Awakening next week. That's definitely on the schedule. It'll be the same day, same time, at 5 p.m., uh, Tuesday through Thursday, even though I have Monday off. You know, I think I, I think I know what I'll do. I'll switch things around, and I'm going to have it so we train for Smash for Church's Tournament on Saturday. That's what I wanted to do. Now I remember. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be all for now. That'll be all for today. I'll see y'all next week. Had a fun time. I hope y'all had one as well. Y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one. Thank you for breaking sound effects. I love you. Mwah.